guys and welcome back to another Ryan Squared video. I understand it's been a very long time, but what's a great way to start it again? By doing a Let's Play. And recently the new Let's Play came out, Firewatch. I mean, not a new Let's Play, but a new game came out, Firewatch. And it's a story game. I really, really like story games. It's been so long since I played one. So I'm going to take you guys along this adventure to play the game and just enjoy it, you know, with just enjoy it with me. So let's get started. Let's get to it, you know. I'm sorry we haven't been posting a lot of vi uh, videos lately, but I know this is a great way to start it. So this game recently came out, just started, um, came out, I believe, yesterday by the time you see this. But um, you know what? Let's just enjoy this. Campo Santo presents in cooperation with Panic Inc. Okay, so this is an indie game. You guys can buy this on Steam, um, Boulder, Colorado, 1975. I'll leave the link in the description below. You see Julia. Oh, okay. I guess it's a click thing. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. So, apparently our character is named Henry. You're drunk. Okay, we're drunk, and now we're decided to have a choice. Uh, so what's your major? Uh, you. So what's your, you know, major? Or you, you, you're pretty. Let's go with. Let's go with the compliment. You're pretty, she says, cold, cool, cool, coolly. You are not. You're a future hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and the one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Well, that turned out perfectly fine. Okay, so <clears throat> it looks like we are Henry inside a... Let's say that's a pickup. So use this to pick up objects. We have a backpack. <clears throat> Glorious backpack. We're okay. So I really love this art style going on right here, and we Henry have now got ourselves a girl. Oh, wait, what did I do? Is that a zoom? Oh my gosh! You can do a rave with this. Let's load our gear, boys. Oh wait, are we married or engaged? You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Henry is having a great life. Julia wants to get a dog. I'm a cat person, but sure, we will go with the dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad can happen. Julia, while she's walking out, it's badass. Bucket or mayhem? Bucket or mayhem? But Julia, we want Julia to be happy with Henry, cause he he Henry, Henry, Henry needs this. So let's let's go with Bucket. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Aw, isn't that nice? What a great story. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. I am... I have no idea. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of a li couple of little idiots. Henry deserves some kids. I mean, he could go cynical and get one day. Why rush? You know, she brought it up, so it's better to be a. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that. You say these kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right, because, you know, being a good husband and blah, 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 I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, I have no idea where I am. 
we're in a parking lot I can zoom in and do rave stuff music is beautiful thoroughfare trailhead do not forget to check in <clears throat> you're in their country count okay learn to live with bears no fireworks warning the Aero Fair Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Oh, well then, we better leave. What happened to my backpack? Wasn't it in the... Can I leave? No. Yeah, music is beautiful. This game looks great. Everything's just so nice. So nice. Can I interact with this? No? Let's take a walk. I don't really do much hiking myself, but uh... Let's enjoy Nate. Okay, fade away. 1980. It's Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Oh no. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You can ignore her or you can get mad. Either one seems pretty bad, but if you get mad, at least you talk to her? I don't know. If you ignore her... God, this is too early in the game to do this stuff, guys. What the heck? I, I'm not ready for this. We, 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 I don't know. You get mad. Let's get mad. You call her an inconsiderate- Oh god. She tells you to fuck yourself and not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. I think I've, we've made the wrong choice. 1981. Julia li still likes to draw. She draws plans for her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. <laughs> you can pose and flex like He-Man, or you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. We are masculine. Let's go with He-Man. <clears throat> you look awesome. That's great. That's wonderful. And we're back on the trail. It's obviously getting darker than normally. The sun is radiating through... Okay. Spiky... Oh, okay. Fine. Wow. Wow, what a nice screenshot. Wow. Wow. Two forks. Eight miles. Eight more miles still. Oh, oh, give me the stuff. Okay. <clears throat> space bar to climb over obstacles. Okay. I'm just gonna space bar. I'm gonna look at the sun again, even though I've seen it enough. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Arr! Bucks get kicked. But, but, what well, fuck the? <laughs> Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You come for, you confront the attacker. You can scare him away, or you beat his. Well, he kicked Bucket, so let's beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from the day forward. You said okay. You didn't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Aww. Why? 1984. Plan to have kids get lay way laid by work. Oh no. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate Department Chair, she wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. You don't want to, but you also want her to have a good... Both way, it ends in like a, like some kind of issue. Oh my god! It's too early in this game to do any of this. 
convince her not to take the job or agree if she... I'm just gonna go with that. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's, if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Well, at least, at least they're still talking. And Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost to the colleague for borrowing her books that were more that were important to her research. She doesn't remember what she she had happily loaned to them just two days prior. Oh no, she was found crying in the stairwell. Stairwell. Stair. 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 Stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. It's it's better to consult your issues. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julian might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know enough medical stuff, but it that's probably bad. Oh, it's the Is this really what we look like? Is that Hen that's what Henry looks like? Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Julia's affection gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Affliction, not affection. Her research is in samples. She drives her car into the town next over for no particular reason as to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Oh my god. Her life is going down the drain. How? Why? I can't take these feels this early in the game. Some days, some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. This is so sad because Henry being the person he is and Julia had such a nice start and now that she has this medical condition and they're making them separate and... Ah! She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her, you tell her family they are cr crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Oh no! You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. You can either decide to move her to a full-time care facility, or you're determined to take care of herself, her by yourself. You could do that. You you definitely can do that, but. It's better for her to have a, you know, it's, 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 I think it's better to have a full-time care facility to protect her. Okay, we are on the path again. Oh my god. So this is basically the pre, the, the, the history of Henry and, and, but now we have to somehow realize why this ties in to him being here and the music just gets sadder and sadder like yeah it's so many f oh hello how are you today okay all right goodbye her family agrees with your decision you find a fantastic place in boulder and move her there you see her every day then every other day you go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. 1989. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be closer to her. She visits her every day. You go home. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. A month goes by. Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. 
Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Oh, this is so sad. Why? Why must this happen? I, I'm not ready to take these feels, game. This is too early. The game, technically, this game hasn't really started because this is technically the, the history, the, the choice of. Oh god. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Wow, that if that's the if that's the if that's the background story, that is really devastating. I mean, I am I haven't even started this and I'm feel really crushed. Like holy, that's that's sad. So is, is this the job that he sees sees in the ad? Henry, you don't deserve this. Why must this be so sad for you? Ah! Let's look at flowers to make you feel better even though they're pixelated and you can't really see it. Up, 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 up. Look at this moon. It's so pretty. Okay, now I got pixelated because I zoomed in. Maybe, maybe we won't pick. Maybe we won't zoom in. Oh wait, I saw something. What was that? What was what? 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 Hi. What? 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 